Hi guys, in another video by M Tech Pro, the iPhone 12 versus iPhone 12 Pro debate gives shoppers a tricky choice. Choosing between iPhone 12 versus iPhone 12 Pro is actually a choice between four phones. Apple's iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini make up the lower end with somewhat affordable prices and vibrant color options. Meanwhile, the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max have more advanced cameras, bigger display options and unique color schemes. Wondering which iPhone 12 is for you? Here's how the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro series compare. The iPhone 12 comes in two sizes. The 5.4 inch iPhone 12 mini and 6.1 inch iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 Pro features a 6.1 inch display, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a fairly huge 6.7 inches. In terms of design, all four iPhone 12 models sport smaller notches up front, as well as flatter sides that are reminiscent of the iPhone 5. As far as differences go, the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 have aluminum and glass designs, while Apple continues to reserve the stainless steel body for the iPhone 12 Pro phones. Another key difference is in the colors. The iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini come in a variety of vibrant hues including blue, green, red, white and black. Meanwhile, the iPhone 12 Pro series comes in silver, graphite, gold and a new Pacific blue. The iPhone 12 mini starts at $699, which is the same price that the iPhone 11 started at last year. It's also the same price as the new Samsung Galaxy S20 Fade and Google Pixel 5. The iPhone 12 is $100 more at $799. The iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max retain their prices from last year's iterations, starting at $999 and $1099, respectively. One of the biggest differences between the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro models comes down to display size. Naturally, the iPhone 12 mini is the smallest of the bunch, with a 5.4 inch, the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro both feature 6.1 inch, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max has the biggest iPhone display yet at a massive 6.7 inches, every new iPhone display is OLED, featuring Apple's Super Retina XDR technology. Unfortunately, the iPhone 12 Pro models don't feature 120Hz displays. The camera, the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12, continue to feature dual cameras in the back, including a wide-angle lens and an ultra-wide-angle lens. New features include night mode for both the front and rear cameras, as well as night mode time-lapse, for putting together slick nighttime videos. If you're serious about smartphone photography, though, you'll want to go for the iPhone 12 Pro or Pro Max. These phones have a triple camera array with improved lenses, as well as an advanced lighter sensor for better augmented reality, and greater depth sensing for photos and videos. Despite the different prices and other features you'll find across the iPhone 12 lineup, performance is pretty consistent. That's because all four iPhones run on Apple's new A14 Bionic processor, which just happens to produce the best results we've ever seen in benchmark tests. Also every new iPhone 12 model supports 5G speeds. What about the battery life? The iPhone 12 models have some slight differences in terms of rated battery life, but all of them should get you through most of the day. The iPhone 12 mini is rated for up to 10 hours of video streaming, while the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro is expected to last 11 hours. The iPhone 12 Pro Max should get you the best endurance of the bunch, rated for up to 12 hours of streaming. You can get new iPhone 12 model right now. Thanks for watching, see you in another video.